I think we just found the best damn brewery. We're pulling out of Maine, out of Eastport. We actually have one more night in Maine at a Harvest Host on our way into New York. Um, thoughts on Maine, Tony Tao? I think Maine is gonna remain special to me. Why? I don't know, I just, I love, I love the beauty of it. I love the smell of it. Mm -hmm. I like the, the people. Yeah, there's just something special about Maine. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's such a beautiful state, it just opened my eyes to some things, and mm -hmm. I'm feeling very, very I'm cry. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I feel too good to cry this morning. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then we'll stop there. So we're heading out of Maine. The one thing, the one thing that that I don't like about our, this RV life style mm -hmm. is you wind up meeting very, very nice, wonderful people. Um, and you hang out with them for a few days and then you just go your own separate ways, you know, and hope that you run into them again somewhere down the road. All right, we're gonna keep it yammering on if we don't stop this and get moving. Um, we'll see you uh, on the other side of Maine this evening. It's time for Tony Tows Travel Tips. Time for a new segment called Tony Tows Travel Tips. You just had a great tip, Tony Tao. What was your Tony Tao travel tip for today? Don't wear lace underwear on travel day. I've sworn off of it on travel days. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Rain again. Is it a comfort thing? Chafing thing. Ah, chafing thing. If you're going to wear your lace undies, you better have some cornstarch. Right. That's it. That was uh, Tony Tao's travel tip for today. We headed west, stopping at two Harvest Host locations. The first was a farm field in Oxford, Maine, and the second was Weird Window Brewing in Burlington, Vermont. We then headed up and across Lake Champlain and followed the St. Lawrence River down to Alexandria Bay. Once there, we checked into the Swan Bay RV Resort. Well, today is Adventure Day. Big Can time Adventure Day. Probably tell by the fact that we have backpacks on. It's International Adventure Day. Some friends came to pick us up. It was Gracie's first boat ride and she made new friends. We then took a look at some of the amazing architecture in the Thousand Islands, including Bolt Castle. George C. Bolt, who was the millionaire owner of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City, started construction on it in 1900. It was intended to be a gift for his wife, Louise. However, construction stopped in 1904 when Louise suddenly died. One of my favorite features was the boathouse. The tall doors you see were designed to allow access to the towering mass of sailing ships. We spent the night with friends and caught a lovely sunrise. So this last day and a half has been absolutely magical. Tony and I uh, just happened to wind up being in the same place as a friend of ours who works in uh, the production industry, well, a couple of friends of ours that are married that work in the production industry in town. Um, John uh, has his own company that does a lot of event stuff and his wife, uh, Melissa, is a makeup artist that we have used multiple times on projects. They have a cabin that's been in John's family for a oh, 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 hundred years or more and it's in the Thousand Island region of uh, Ontario, Canada. And we have been spending the last day uh, and a half here and it's just friggin' magical. I never knew that this place existed and uh, I'm so glad that our paths crossed at the right time and we were able to spend a little time up here. Just check out this view. Yeah, it's just beautiful. 
we are fixing to pull out of Alexandria Bay, New York, uh, up here in the Thousand Islands. What did you think of the area? Uh, probably one of my favorite places we visited. Yeah? Yeah. One of mine too. It's absolutely beautiful here. We didn't film a lot. Um, and part of that is because we spent some time with friends and anytime we're spending time with friends, I don't want to impose on them um, by filming them or filming their stuff because you never know if they, they may want to keep their privacy. All right, so today we are on our way to Lake Cayuga in the Finger Lakes. That's Tony's cute. sister, um, her husband, it's kind of the same thing. Her husband's family has had a cabin on Lake Cayuga for a hundred years or so. And so they've invited us down to spend a few days there. So we're heading down to Cayuga. We'll see you there. You got anything else to add? No, not really. Okay, well then we will see you at Cayuga. Gracie. You ready to go? You ready to move to the next adventure? Yeah, I know. You are. You love moving to the next adventure. Well, you know... Ooh, you know we're going to add something. I hope Mike took video of the um, signage coming into this park because it's, <laughs> it is the cutest damn signage I've ever seen. That's yeah. all I got to say. Okay, so I did take video of it. And the, the one thing you need to know so it'll make sense is that this place is called Swan Bay... RV resort. Mm -hmm. Now that you know it's Swan Bay, this is what the cute ass sign looks like. What are you doing, Tony Tao? <laughs> I'm fixing the squirrel. Fixing a what? Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> What's the story on the squirrel? I'm um, well, visiting our friend Melissa. She gave Gracie the squirrel, and Gracie took the guts out of it, but Gracie really likes this toy. I mean, she's got a whole thing of toys, but Gracie really likes the squirrel. So I'm putting the guts back in and I'm fixing it. So you're being a good dog mom. I, I am, I'm on the road, I got nothing, you know. I'm looking at the view, but I can fix a squirrel at the same time, so it's got a cute face. Gracie just loves it. All right, this is one of the reasons why I love you, Tony Tao. You fix squirrels for the puppies. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, I got the squirrel. <laughs> All right, Tony Tao, what's the uh, what's the plan for today in the Finger Lakes? We are going to a waterfall. We're gonna go dig a hole, and then we're gonna fill that hole uh, with maybe wine or beer. With wine or beer afterwards. Do you know how many wineries are in this area it's, and breweries? Uh huh. Yeah, we've had some really good wines, if you like sweet wines, yes. um, which we do. There are dry wines as well, but since we're in this region where they have a lot of sweet wines, we've been doing the Kool-Aid wine thing. We're indulging. <laughs> yes. All right, so where's this place we're going today? What's it called? You forgot already. Do you do that to? I can't <laughs> pronounce it, by the way. Oh, okay. It's the place can't Tony can't pronounce falls. It is a state park that you can camp in, but it has a falls that is supposed to rival, it's a taller than Niagara Falls. Cool. It's a single fall, but it's taller than Niagara Falls. We are at the falls with the name you can't pronounce, Trailhead. What is the name? Come on, we worked on it. No, I don't remember. Do you remember? Taganok? Taganok, 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 something like that. Taganok. Taganok. Gracie is super excited to be on the hike. So far, we're just in the parking lot and it's a pretty little place. Yeah, it's kind of gorgeous. So we're walking over just to kind of take a look at the river and then we're gonna find the trailhead and start walking up. All right, so we made it all the way up to the falls. It's a fairly easy hike. It's pretty flat all the way up. So this is the falls kind of behind us. It's really pretty, it's really tall. But. Gorgeous, where's the hike? Yeah, definitely worth the hike. It's not bad. I, anybody, like even elderly people, could have made this hike. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah it's a pretty flat level hike. Any kind any of, skill could make it. And you're kind of in this curved canyon. It curves all the way around. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, I kind of told Tony it reminds me of a scaled down version of Spearfish Canyon up in South Dakota, because you just have these really tall rock walls all the way around you. Um, obviously, much much scaled down from Spearfish Canyon, but yeah. It's kind of cool. 
All right, so what was your, what's your thoughts on um, Tommy Knocker Falls, Talamook Falls, Tiki Falls? What is it? Something with tea. Totally worth the price of admission. Yeah. So to come here, you had to pay like nine dollars mm -hmm. to get into the state park. I wouldn't even call it a hike; it was more like a stroll. Yeah. So we we kind of weight hikes by you know the payoff versus the amount effort. of effort you have to extend to get to the payoff this one this is like a, a million dollar hike because yeah. the amount of effort that you have to put into the to the hike the payoff is huge all right we dug the hole now it's time to go fill it with some beer or wine or wine one or the other <laughs> As many of you know, we have been to brewery to brewery to brewery across the United States. I think we just found the best damn brewery. So this thing, it's the trifecta. So it's got the best beer that we've had in the US. It has the best food that we've had in the US. And it has like the best atmosphere that we've had in the US. Name of the brewery. You've forgotten already, haven't you? Brewery Ardennes. So it's in Geneva, New York. They specialize in Belgian beers, um, which works for us because we both love like Belgian wheats. So this place is flipping amazing. It also, what are you doing? So it's in like an old Belgian farmhouse. We had two flights of beers. Was there a bad beer in those two flights? Yeah not a bad beer in the two flights to the point where we're taking a six pack of various different beers home oh, with us God. oh can we talk about the artwork on the beer <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. hold on so 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 the people that own the brewery have um two french bulldogs so all of the artwork <laughs> so cute. is frenchies <laughs> And then we also got a, it's a flatbread pizza. But I know you're thinking like, meh, flatbread pizza. No, this was a flatbread brunch pizza that had scrambled eggs. It had sliced ribeye. This is the only downside is that the waiter, when we ordered the brunch pizza, looked at me and said, would you like that with bacon? Rhetorical question, dude. Of course I want that with bacon. And it was like thinly sliced, lightly crisped. It was so good. The food here was just amazing. But more importantly, the atmosphere mm -hmm. is like being in another country. You yeah. feel like you've been transported. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. <laughs> I feel like I wore t-shirts and I got my hair up and everything, but I feel like I should be here next. Rest. I should be here in a dress. It's that nice. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we found out on Bring Fido. Oh, I didn't even think of that. That's a very good point. We we'll carry on. Bring Fido, which is, you know, we you know we don't go anywhere without our dog. Mm -hmm. So if you are in the Finger Lakes region, you absolutely have to go to Brewery Ardennes in Geneva. Wow. Out of this world. Hands down. <laughs>